Hey guys, it's Dor. I got Miles here. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about kind of the pros and cons, pluses and minuses of 9mm versus 45. Um, there was a debate a few years back, you know, with 9mm versus 40 cal. Uh, 357 SIG was also in that conversation. And it's pretty much a done deal. 9mm has uh, its modern performance. It's pretty much put those, you know, short-lived calibers out to pasture, so to speak. But um, compared to a big boy like, not, like 45 ACP, um, you know, just what are you losing? What are you gaining when you go back and forth between the two different calibers? As shooters. We're going to yeah. talk about as shooters. We're going to really yeah. put these through some drills, tests, uh, break out the Mantis uh, X10, check out the recoil impulse. Um, as Dor already mentioned, I mean, there it's been debated a lot, but now we're going to really not focus so much on the ballistics, mm -hmm. but as shooters, what do we think? Yeah. Just, so we got a Glock 19, obviously 9 millimeter. Uh, best seller, 15 round standard capacity, and then we have the uh, the 30S, which is a 45 ACP, 10 round standard capacity. So you know, before we get too far into the the shooting and the equipment, you know, if you watch channels like Donut Operator or there's some other ones, you just watch shootouts that are captured on surveillance footage. There's a lot of people getting hit with nine mil, and they are not going down. You're not getting that immediate response, that response you so desperately need to be getting. Um, I don't want to get too far into it, but I can tell you that government issue, 230 grain, 45 ammunition puts people down. Whereas it seems with the 9mm, that's mm -hmm. where shot placement and volume become a lot more important. So we're going to put these two firearms to the test through a series of different drills. And we're just going to talk about it and maybe one of them really outshines the other in terms of performance. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so before we get started, um, you know, these are both Glocks, of course, but they don't share a lot of part commonality. They're built on, you know, the standard frame and the larger frame, uh, but they do both fit in the same holster. You know, so we've got Vetter holsters here. These are designed for Glock 19s. Of course, they fit Glock 19s just fine, but this gun, you know, it is a little bit shorter, a little bit girthier, but it does fit right into the same type of holster. So this is about as close as we could get as far as size. You know, obviously we've got the uh, the mid-size 9mm. This is technically a subcompact, but they're pretty close in size. And that S model does have the thinner slide, you know, for, you know, better concealability. And they do both fit in our Vetter holsters. You know, we use these things here on the channel, obviously we're making content also in our classes. And I'm running my Glock 19 in this for everyday carry. Go ahead and check them out in the description below. They've got a make, they're made in the USA and they can pair you up with pretty much any major maker model pistol. All right, let's get started. All right, so Dora's ready with the 30S, the 45 here. He's gonna take five shots on the buzzer and we are going to then compare it to the Glock 19, then get his thoughts. Obviously we are tracking time here and we are going to shoot as fast as we can be accurate. All right, Dora, are you ready? Five shots. Five shots. Here we go. Stand by. All right, so that was a 211, all in the A zone, 211, and the best of the time there was 0 0.29, 0 0.29. All right, so now. All right, nine mil. All right, Dora has the nine mil now, five shots on the buzzer. Shooter, are you ready? Ready. Stand by. All right, that was 175, definitely faster with the best split time of 0.2. And I think we had one out there, but uh, definitely faster. Yeah, so going from 45 down to nine mil, I mean, it's almost like a toy. You know, this is actually less gun with a bigger bullet. So you gotta grip it a little bit harder, a little bit, be a little bit more deliberate. Um, and then going back to this, I mean, it's just so much smoother and easier to use. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts though? I mean, in terms of you shaved off, uh, maybe I can't remember exactly, but a, a little bit more than a quarter of a second, right? Yeah. Just based on this one isolated drill here, you were faster, you know, faster split time, but do you think the benefit of shooting faster, having faster split times is worth, I guess, having less of a powerful caliber, so to speak? You know, as long as you, you know, hit acceptability, like where on a target you can expect to hit switches instead of timers and actually stop a threat it's going to be harder to do with this mm -hmm. um 
It can be done, of course, but just the amount of energy that's transferring with that heavier round, you know, it's hard to say. I, I'm not going to, I don't carry 45s generally for uh, EDC, and I barely ever carried them at my last job, but I did. And uh, I'm sticking with 9 mil. You know, the, the accuracy is something you need to train to, and then you obviously you have the capacity mm -hmm. to uh, back yourself up. If you're not getting those immediate results, just keep trying. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I'll give it a go. Yeah, it's good to go. All right, guys, so up first, we got the 30S and 45. It's gonna shoot the build drill, five shots in the A. Shooter ready. Ready. Stand by. Whoa, that's a lot of big kick. Yeah, <laughs> 1.88. I haven't shot a 45 in a long time. Best split, 0.25. <laughs> yeah, we had two out though, two out. Yeah, a little bit more to control. You know, you, gotta, you, you just gotta get yourself conditioned to it. You yeah. just gotta get to know her, you know, say nice things to her. <laughs> Try out different, you know, something's gotta stick, something's gotta work. All right, Glock 19, tried and true. Shooter ready. Ready? Stand by. 1.89, again, 0.25 split. Consistent. So comparable, comparable. Yeah, comparable. Got it, got it. Yeah. Uh, well, we, we uh, ran just two, you know, quick exercises here. Uh, for me, it was definitely, uh, I mean, the, the shooting the 45, I haven't shot a 45 in years. Yeah. And, um, right. one of those anyway. Yeah, I obviously need to get used to that recoil impulse. It was literally night and day compared to the Glock 19. Clearly at times there's not a huge difference mm -hmm. with the time. So just based on that very, very little, little exercise, um, it would it would make me believe that I would want to I'd want to train with a forty five just because there hasn't there, there wasn't a lot lost but uh, you know I still carry a nine mil but just based on that but let's take a look let's break out the Mantis X ten and let's just get some real numbers out here so if you guys aren't familiar with the Mantis X ten it's a sensor that we're going to put at the bear on the at actual rail here and we can determine actual muzzle rise and a, a few other things. All right, so we have the Mantis already. It is going to record the data from the 30S. So we're gonna take five shots, about three to five seconds in between, so they can register in the app. All right, there we go. All right, that's five shots. Okay, so we have, I think one of the shots got a little messed up there, but uh, we have recorded about an average of 7.76 seconds for that muzzle to recover. And uh, we have about, I would say just looking at this, about 20 degrees of uh, muzzle rise. And we'll look at that a little bit more later on the data, but uh, for now we're gonna try it out with the Glock 19. All right, so we have the Glock 19 now. I'm gonna take five shots, about wait three to five seconds each one so that the data will register. Okay, go ahead. All right, so clearly much better recovery time there, about 0.49 seconds. And the muzzle rise, just kind of looking at this, kind of the averages would probably be around 10 degrees of muzzle rise. So a pretty big difference there. So now let me give it a try as well and we'll kind of see if the numbers match. All right, Miles shooting the Glock 19 up first. All right, here we go. Five here shots. Five shots. Right. All right. Let's see what it says. Average recovery time, 0.77. Mm -hmm. Muzzle rate of a 7.5. Well, we haven't gotten the average yet, but it's kind of looking oh. at that. Yeah, it's it's going to be it's going to be definitely it's less. Seven. Yes. 0.7 something. Seven. It's a seven. So for me, the recovery time was about 0.77 um, average, and then muzzle rise was about seven uh, degrees. Mm -hmm. So let's see how it compares to the four, uh, the 30s. 
All right, guys. So Miles got the 30S up next, uh, 45 ACP. He's got the extended mag with the grip on there. So it'll make it a little bit uh, more comparable to the 19 as far as uh, grip frame size, but kind of splitting hairs here. You ready, bud? Yep. All right, let's go. Let it rip. Oh, we have a big kick. All right. Let's see. Okay, so uh, recovery time was faster than the Glock 19, but I think it was because I was really yeah. honing in. I was, because I, I don't shoot 45, so I was really locking down my wrist. But the muzzle rise, I mean, it's a huge difference. Uh, like the, these are in the in the teens, and one even went up to about 20, 20 degrees compared 20. to nine one yeah, compared to the seven mm -hmm. degrees in the Glock nineteen. So so we have some data. We shot the kind of like the the five shot that I modified build drill, I guess. And uh, yeah, Dora and I are going to talk a little bit about it. All right, guys. So that was just a couple of drills to kind of get some data get a get a feel for the uh the comparison if you will obviously the nine mil much more user friendly much more easy to learn with and under stress you know anything that's going to make the situ you know anything that's going to make you more effective anything that's going to be easier to handle probably a good idea you know but that being said you know obviously um you know 45 does deliver much more energy on target and the differences were really that drastic yeah it's it's more of the the performance the performance it's not that big of a deal but it's the feel uh for me at mm -hmm. least the feel of the the extra of the extra kick to at 45 definitely would take some time getting used to and uh you know i was pretty excited to do this little comparison this is obviously this is not new a lot of people have been talking about this forever right but for me, it, when I watch a lot of real life footage, we already alluded to it this um, uh, earlier in the video, when people go down with a nine mil, generally speaking, they go down, but they kind of go down slow compared to a 45. They go down, they go down fast, right? And so I wanted to shoot a 45 and compare it to nine mil because I hardly ever shoot a 45. I shoot a 40 a lot for competition, but this, I was really surprised. And it could be because of the gun too. It's a little bit smaller, mm -hmm. but, um, Yes, you did also mention, you know, some training. Training would obviously help uh, get you to the new caliber or the different caliber. But just based on the night and day feel of this, I think that if I shot this 45 as much as I shoot 9 mil, I'd really have some tendonitis. <laughs> so yeah. I think I'm going to stick with 9 mil. All right, guys. So that's, uh, you know, how, how they shot for us, how they felt. But the data, you know, mm -hmm. tells its own story. Yeah. And, you know, the data showed that obviously with the 19, the muzzle flip was way less, maybe half yeah. as bad, give or take. Yeah. Um, so, for, so I would say about seven to 10 degrees on average mm -hmm. of uh, muzzle rise with the 19. And that's something we really did expect. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And then also recovery time was at least for door for me it was different because maybe i was i was trying to grip this much harder the 45 because i'm not used to it but the recovery time so what that meant was it's starting point from the shot and actually back on target for door it was much faster with the nine mil which also makes a lot of sense uh for me it was the opposite with the nine mil maybe it was because again i you don't really shoot the 45 so when i shot the 45 i was really gripping down on this so the recovery time was slightly faster but the muzzle rise was ridiculously much much higher than um the nine mil and that makes perfect sense you know it's a much bigger bullet and it is coming out of a shorter barrel you know this is a subcompact on the uh sf short frame and you know the, the 19 is you know, purpose build mid-size, shooting that nine by 19. So the physics are what they are, the physicality, you know, the construction, the, the intended purpose is what it is, but still very manageable, yeah. very usable. Mm -hmm. And it comes in this awesome little package, easy to carry, easy to stow. I really like this little gun. You know, it's it's, uh, it's like the, what was that, the noisy cricket? No, is he? Yeah, noisy oh, cricket yeah, from, from Black. Men in Black. Yeah, yeah. Men in Black. <laughs> yeah. Cricket, uh, you know, True. something like that. I was um, gonna say though, if you were, like for me, carrying that gun really, I, I guess I could, through training, right? You can get used to it. Um, and definitely if it is something that to me feels like a 22, like I was, what I'm trying to get is if you're much bigger like Door or someone is even bigger, this might not, you might not feel it as much. Mm -hmm. I don't know, right? Um, and so 
it could be the perfect fit for you. For me, I feel like a nine mil is still the way to go for me. Uh, as I mentioned, if I shot the 45 nearly as much as I do the nine mil, it just wouldn't work out for my body, most likely. Yeah. And honestly, no matter which way you go or whatever you carry, you know, training is absolutely most important. Um, I can't remember the last time I shot this thing. This is the first time Miles has ever shot it. And, you know, it all just comes back to, you know, getting those reps and having that, uh, that baseline skill set. Today is no different than any other day, guys. We show up, we set up, and we just start shooting. We don't warm up. We don't, uh, we barely ever, you know, say cut or do another take. But, um, you know, so this is us going cold with both platforms. Um, and again, they, they were fairly similar, performed fairly about as well, one or the other. So again, hope this helps, you know, obviously nine mil purpose-built platforms for it, you know, going to probably be the better option, at least for humanoid threats yeah but um you know 45s are great for what they are and um i like them both i can, would carry both i feel comfortable carrying both you know it really comes down to personal preference hopefully this video gave you a little bit more insight into whether or not you know carrying a nine mil is going to be right for you or a 40 or 45 uh, most people these days carry a nine mil and it kind of makes sense you know of technology the round is getting much better and it's easier to shoot but in the end guys it's it's up to you to make that decision and again hopefully the video helped all right guys thanks for being here again uh, if you like this video go ahead and give it a like if you haven't uh, subscribed already please do so and check our back catalog, you know, hit that bell. We got a lot of content coming out on this channel. We've uh, passed 900 videos so far. So, you know, if you have time, go ahead and check it out. This is Doran Miles, out.